I joined the Congress Party, I found that uh, this political party system is not meant for working for the people. It was for selfish people only. So because of that, I have formed my own political party for, to fight corruption and then to really work for the people. And I contested the MLA election again as independent and candidate on the principles again also. And when our Madhmi party came around and they are having exactly the same ideas and principles as I have been having for the last 10 years. So what I have been doing in a small way here in Mizoram, so our Madhmi people have been doing in a big way nationwide. So uh, there was no choice for me. It was. Uh, it's a, it's a question of accepting each other, so I, I didn't waste any time in accepting uh, nomination for MP candidate and that's how I have come to have been candidate for Ram Army Party. Mizoram has uh, lots of potential for the development of tourism then horticulture, agricultural products and all those things. But in spite of that, we don't have much headway. The main reason being is rampant corruption in almost every aspect of the, these activities and all those things. Now, the main reason is, even if you have problems, even if you have difficulties and all, if our MPs are not doing anything, then uh, state governments, whatever corrupt practices are being done, then there is nothing much you can do because it, it is within their own uh, selves and all. Now, unfortunately, our MPs are really not known for their uh, the raising their voices there or their presence there in parliament. As far as education is concerned, it is a known fact that Mizoram is one of the highest in literacy rate. In spite of this, quality education is quite lacking. Uh, the main reason is we have, uh, you have poor standard of uh, teachers uh, as a whole. Just like other places in India, women in Mizoram also have been saying that they are not having any proper representation in government. So, uh, there is an element of truth in this. But actually, the main reason as far as Mizoram is concerned is that traditionally women were never involved in governance administration. We have what you call, we had what we call this chieftainship, where the chief and his advisors so we never had any women among the chiefs or uh, advisors also, except for one or two cases and all. So that was the main reason why women had not been able to come up in, uh, as legislators or ministers also. So I think that is all what we could talk about as far as Mizoram is concerned. For the last 10 years or so, as I mentioned earlier, when I uh, formed my political party, like me, Pipo, contesting as independent candidate, I had my, my principles and ideals of fighting against corruption and forming a government which could work really for the people, down to earth. And when our army party came around and they were having exactly the same ideas and principles, so what I have been doing in a small way in Mizoram, so our army party people are doing it at nationwide. And when I have this opportunity to contest election as MP candidate, so I didn't have any choice but to uh, contest this election as our army party candidate.